Now we're gonna make a baked fish with vegetables with red quinoa. And I chose red quinoa mainly because it's pretty, but you can choose any color you want. Um, it's really easy to make. I have two cups of vegetable stock in my pot, and I'm just going to pour one cup of the quinoa into it. And then you bring it to a boil, cover it, and let it go for about 15 minutes. And you'll know it's done because there'll be a little ring of the germ that uh, pops off of the quinoa, which we'll see in just about 15 minutes. Okay, so you're gonna use a small onion for this recipe. I have a large onion, so I'm gonna use half of it. So you're just gonna chop it up. As we talked about before, watch your fingers when you do this. Always keep them out of the way. And the fish is gonna bake in foil packets. So there's really gonna be almost no cleanup, which is fabulous for those rushed weeknight meals. Okay, so we have our onion chopped up. Now we're just gonna slice up a lemon. There's gonna be a slice that goes on each of your pieces of fish. So this makes four. So make your slices however big you want them, but you wanna have at least four. So now it's time to assemble. This couldn't be faster. We're using frozen fish fillets. These are about four ounces a piece, and you can use any white fish for this. These are cod, but uh, anything you like is fine. You don't even need to thaw them. Have your frozen vegetables ready. You're gonna need about two cups of frozen vegetables. So we're going to assemble our uh, fish packets like this. We have a fillet of the fish. Take a little bit of the onions, just a little bit of hand, handful. Each packet gets about half a cup of vegetables or a little more. Any mixed vegetables you like is fine. All right, and then a lemon goes on top and we fold it up. Here's how we fold it up. Bring up the sides like this, and then fold the top over, and then we fold the sides up. And that's gonna keep all the juices inside while it's baking. Over on the baking sheet, and we'll do the other three of them. Once you have all of your packets assembled, now they go in the oven. The oven's been preheating to 450 degrees, and these are just gonna bake for about 10 minutes. Let's take a look at the quinoa. So you can see how the germ comes off of the quinoa when it's done. Um, so it'll, it pretty much tells you when it's done. Okay, so once our fish is done, our quinoa's done, it's time to eat. So we can, you can either eat this right out of the foil or you can put it on a plate. And in just 15 minutes, you have a healthy meal the whole family will love.